Hello everybody, I'm chilling on a beautiful Minnesota summer day with Colette Kastner and her son Sebastian, who you will probably hear in this video. He is delightful. Um, we are going to look, take a closer look at the lesson module today. And in doing so, we are going to fabricate or create a lesson having to do with um, singular and plural nouns. So let's just get started here. Um, to do this, I, we're kind of trying to create a second grade le um, lesson. And so um, I am using Justin Ingham's page for that. And um, so what we do is uh, we're going to go to the spelling section because that's where we're going to post the lesson. And we click on add an activity. And just let me show you that from the start. So I click on the pull down menu, add an activity, and I'm going to choose lesson. Now, just as a reminder, you will have wanted to turn editing on before you do this. So I click lesson. And in this video, we're just going to go through um, the various settings. And this is a very little used up to this point module it might get more popular in the future and it's kind of complex and we're going to try to demystify it but i also just wanted to let you know on the uh, front end that i haven't used all the settings so i'm not going to be able to tell you everything about it so we're going to start by giving the lesson a name so i'm going to call it singular and plural nouns and there is a show advanced um, option here that gives you a password option. So if you wanted to password protect it, just to allow some people to see it or not, you could do that in the advanced section. Now I'm not going to create a time limit and in general I don't have ever set the available from or the deadline options because I have a tendency to prefer to use the, that little winker icon to make things unavailable. And within a lesson, there's checking for understanding where you write some questions about what the students are learning. So I'm supposing that this is the maximum number of answers to a particular question. Not exactly sure. Okay, grading section. You may or may not know that there's a built-in grade book in Moodle. Um, we don't use it in our district. Um, we're more likely to use EasyGrade Pro or Canvas or something like that. So it would be totally fine for you just to say no grade because you're not going to be using the grade book. And then as we get down into these uh, more complex settings that I'm not as well versed on, I wanted to let you know that you can always click on this question mark to see a little bit of information about what that setting is all about. And so apparently you can make it a practice lesson which that I think if I were a second grade teacher, I, that's probably how I'd use this module. I don't know exactly what custom scoring is, so I'm going to change that to no. I'm not going to take the time to look at all the question marks. Retakes, again, I want this to be a learning experience, so I'm going to definitely say yes. And in, in the retakes, I want the students to see the best scores that they achieved in the lesson. So um, I'm going to say yes, use the maximum, and then an ongoing score as they go through the lesson. I don't know if that what would be best because I'd have to try both options, but right now I'm going to just say yes. So I'm guessing a little bit. So the flow through the lesson. So do we want to allow students to review? Again, learning experience. I want them to be able to do that. Um, do we want them to be able to try again? I'm going to just say no for this. I'm going to want them to start the whole lesson again. So the maximum number of attempts. Um, sure, I'll give 10 on this. And should, should they see the default feedback? I actually don't know yet or remember where I put in the feedback, so I'm just going to keep these other things that as no. And then I'm going to say yes to the progress bar. And I've done it before, and I do think I like the display of a left menu that would allow students, if they went into a lesson, they could easily skip to a certain section. So like if they had gone through it twice, they might, in their second time through, skip the first part of the lesson, go right to an area that they didn't understand as well. 
All right, I don't know about the pop-up file and dependent on would be if, it, if you wanted to allow them to take this based on their performance on an earlier digital exercise in Moodle and we don't need to do that now, it's a little more complex. So I'm not gonna change any more settings and that is all that we do in terms of the settings. So then you click save and display where you will now begin to build your lesson. And so this is what it would look like after you have um, set up your settings. Now, Colette and I have decided to use a YouTube video. So I have a YouTube video open right here as, our, as the basis for teaching this lesson. So if you wanted to start this part, um, what you may wanna do is just think about a simple topic that you teach and find a web resource, whether it's a good video or it's a good interactive web page that would be helpful in teaching that concept. And, and then you can start by doing the settings as well. Um, we'll be going on to the next step very soon.